It's Dave here from Site3D and I'm going to show you how Site3D moves gullies away from driveways and pedestrian crossings. Here you can see we have a gully that's in the middle of this driveway. Now the way we're going to get Site3D to move it, to move the gully, is by indicating to Site3D where this driveway crosses the footpath. This is the same for, for pedestrian crossings. We're going to add a drop curb. So we go into the drop curb tools, hit add drop curb and indicate where it starts and where it ends. In here we can set the different styles of it and a pedestrian crossing uh, would usually have something like a three mil curb upstand. A vehicle crossing in this case would normally have like something like a 25 mil upstand. Click OK and it'll then indicate where our pedestrian and vehicle crossing are. But you can also see it's moved automatically the gully out of the way and it's reconnected it to the drainage in a different position. You can see that on the 3D view as well. The gully is no longer in the area and it's also moved it upstream so it catches the water before it would go past the pedestrian or the vehicle crossing. And we can see it updates as well. If I go and edit this particular drop curb, I can go in and change the width of it, make it a bit bigger. Click OK and it'll reposition the gully as it needs to. And you can do that multiple times. You can go back in and you can edit it and you can choose the different width that it needs to be. Thanks for watching.